the idea of building your own establishment as a chef and not working for somebody else, the idea that you can create um, anything you want, anytime you want, and the idea of having instant gratification uh, not only takes time and structure and passion, but it takes a lot of your life and a lot of your life in one place, in one spot, doing the same thing, creating something new uh, for the love of food, for the love of the atmosphere, for the love of the people that come through the door turns your workplace into your home and vice versa all the way around. Hey, my name is Cody Stortz, uh, chef currently at Grits in downtown Fullerton. I've uh, been in the game a long, long time. Uh, cooking is, is, is a part of not only life, but, but what we all do to make uh, good things happen. The menu originally for here was gonna be 99% all comfort, traditional Southern comfort food. Uh, what it's morphed into is kind of this adjacent to all comfort food and bind into one. Uh, so we've taken banh mi's and the thought of miso soup and the thought of biscuits and gravy and everything and shoved it into one building that still is home. And the idea was trying to involve people in kind of a European style of eating where we go out at every meal for an hour and a half, two hours, three hours, involving nice beers, champagnes, bubbles, wines, whatever it is you want. The idea is that it's a communal organization. The idea was to make dishes that really do punch you in the face to uh, hit every sense in every way possible. Um, the back of the tongue, the front of the tongue, high acidity levels, high fat contents. Um, the recipes are just morphing to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and everybody seems to love it. I mean, the idea has become not only their guilty pleasure, but we're starting to be people's addiction. My first introduction to Cody, the, the indelible mark that he made on me above all things, was that he was a real guy making real food for real people. I have described Grits and what Chef Cody does as like a cartoon becoming real. It is literally like the Flintstones. They are massive mounds of food. It's everything you want, the way you absolutely want it, the, the way you envision this food to look like, he makes it that way. Big, bold flavors, massive cuts of meat. And I think, and you just kind of see him back there smiling. I think that his food just says, eat me. Flavor profile is the biggest thing. Uh, sweet, sour, salty, umami. Uh, spicy, uh, all those things have to involve in every bite for me. A lot of chefs try to divide it on a plate. A lot of chefs try to make it so that you build those things throughout your evening. I don't, I think those things have to be omnipresent in everything you do and eat. So when people talk about food being big and bold and crazy, the idea is that not many people try to shove all that at you with everything you eat. And that really is what I do with every dish in some way, shape or form. When a chef says, this is how I want you to experience my food, and I'm gonna put these sauces that I think are gonna marry well, and I'm gonna do it in a clock pattern or something that's gonna show you, this is where I want you to start and this is where I want you to finish. That's somebody who's thought through the entire experience, not just the, the fork or the spoon experience, but the entire experience that I'm gonna have as someone who enjoys food and gonna enjoy their food. And, and it's just those, those final touches that I think just shows that they care beyond the, uh, just heating stuff up and bringing uh, proteins, otherwise known in our world as center of the plate. Um, I, I like to take center of the plate stuff and take them straight out of the center of the plate. Uh, I, I don't use any chicken, except for the skins. Uh, I don't use anything that you can cook at home normally. I try not to make things that you can have or do by yourself. I try to do anything outside the box that one is delicious or new to you, but still approachable. Pork shanks, pork cheeks, bellies, uh, duck home feet. But the idea is that I want to give you something that you know sounds good, but you may never had, that then on the end is something you always want. From outside to dealing with somebody welcoming you in, to sitting down to whatever, the whole experience is owned by his vision. And I, and I dig that, that's what I like best about this place. Uh, grits, the actual philosophy of grits is the idea to be true grit, to be, uh, to be gritty in everything you do to go after things uh, with an attack, a positive connection and non-cognitive attitude. 
to, uh, to get what you want. And that's what we did. We went after this place and we go after your table and your meals and your drinks with the attitude that we're making you achieve something in a long-term goal that you'll never forget.